Hello and welcome to me and my golf. We are your coaches, Piers and Andy, and it's a Monday, so that means it's the Impact Show, and we're in Southern California at Grand Del Mar. What a golf course this is. Andy, what are we doing today on the putting green? On the putting green, we've got a very special guest who's going to help you improve your putting. Let's take charge of your game. So thanks for joining us today. Now we're at Grand Del Mar in Southern California. What an amazing golf course this is, Andy. We're on the putting green, and we've got Derek Oida. Derek. Thank you so much. Well, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for your good time. Really good to see you again. Really good yeah, to see you. Good it's been, again it's been too. a while. Four years ago, we did another video. Didn't Four we? Four years ago, we did three videos, I think, wasn't it, on the course and on this putting green as yeah. well, actually. So it's yep. been a, a long time. We've all it's been a while. Progressed since then as well. Thankfully, I'm still on the map and on your guys' <laughs> radar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, of course. So um, Derek is a, is a golf coach here at Grand Del Mar, and he obviously works with all level of golfers. Actually, worked with some top tour professionals on their putting as well. So Xander yep. Shoffley yep. and uh, Charlie Hoffman are Correct. obviously working with their putting and you're in a pretty good place at the moment. It was Christmas good for you? Christmas was great. Uh, I should hope so. Yeah, the second half of the year was awesome. It was it was a, it was fun for sure. I mean, we, we met Sander for the first time at the Erin Hills, the US Open, watched him play yep. nine holes with one of our students and we were very impressed with his long game. We didn't really get to see the short game that much and the putting that much, but obviously came fifth. So. That was the catalyst for him, yeah, wasn't it? Job. And he's not a sort of guy that you look at him and think, oh, he's an amazing putter because he hits it so well off the tee. Yeah. But again, listening to you, Derek, and some of the things that you've been working on, it's one of his strengths, isn't it? It's, what, it's one of the reasons he is where he is. Yeah, I, you know, obviously I'm biased, but I feel yeah. like Sander is one of the best putters in the world and he's worked very hard to get there. So this is actually a very good point. Why is he so good? What stands out for you compared to other golfers? Uh, he's not guessing. Okay. You know, I think that's one of the biggest things with Xander is that um, he knows exactly what he's doing uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the read. He understands, you know, what he's doing when he's reading greens. He knows that he's aimed where he wants to hit it and that his ball actually goes there at the right speed and that it rolls correctly. And uh, so, um, yeah, he's, he's not, he, I think the biggest thing is he doesn't guess. He doesn't guess. Yeah. So he's actually got, he's, he's got a good way of managing his putting, obviously, as yeah. well. But yeah. I think that's obviously, look, these guys are so good when they're on the putting greens, aren't they? And, and I think, unfortunately, for a lot of golfers who may be watching this, they find putting hard. So what do you see when you're coaching every day of the week on putting? What's the common traits that you see problems do? I, I think the biggest thing that I see and that I've seen over the last 20 or so years is that... Um, even tour professionals to, to just amateurs that, that like to play at your club every week, they don't really know what they're doing and, and they don't get any feedback. Mm -hmm. um, so they may look at a putt and read a putt, you know, like this putt we have here, you know, on the left edge, but then they hit it a foot outside the left edge and it goes in. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll turn and they'll look at me and they'll say, oh yeah, see, I, I, I did I'm that good. correctly. <laughs> and then I'll show them you didn't even do what you said you wanted to do, and yet the putt went in, so the, they're not getting the correct feedback. I mean, if you read it wrong and hit it in the wrong spot, you should miss. Yeah. And I think that's where the best players, you know, they, they are very, very good at hitting it where they want to hit it, and then now their feedback yeah. is, is a little bit better. But, but, you know, how do you get the feedback? Yeah. It's, it's, in putting, it's, it's very, very difficult to, to get the correct feedback, and I think that's why you know, when, when you're teaching somebody or showing somebody, you know, if they have a device or if they have a pattern or a practice program that they can do, they can get that right. So when the best players of the world are rolling them in, mm -hmm. it's not luck, is it? They are actually rolling them in on their line. Yeah. They know what they're doing. When, when a lot of the guys at, ho at home are rolling those putts in, some of the putts are going in because they hit it on the wrong line that they started on. So I think really it's finding a solution yeah. that we can pick the right line and start the golf ball on that right 100%. line, isn't it? 100%. Yep. Okay, all right. So should we actually take Andy through this? And yeah. Actually go through yeah. this. Um, by the way, one thing we will say, there's a few F-16s flying around. I think they're after Andy for some reason. He's obviously <laughs> done something wrong again. So if it gets really loud, we'll obviously have to have a quick break. But so how far is this put? Eight feet, six feet? Yeah, so we've got, yeah, in between there, probably seven, seven and a half feet. And it's left. Left, right, putt. Left, right, my favourite. Difficult don't, for a right-handed player. Don't give him any help. I was, I was, he could have aimed right, left there. <laughs> he could have. But this is a problem. Left, rights are generally bigger problems for right-handed players. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, um, who knows? But it seems to be, and we were talking about it earlier. Well, what if you could putt left, right, just as well as you putt right, left? Yeah. Um, so we've got this putt, and, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Andy read it. 
and I'm going to have them put a T in the ground to tell me precisely where he wants to start this ball, where his putter needs to aim, where the ball needs to start um, to get this ball to roll in the hole at a, at a, at a good speed. And we've got our uh, phantom hole plate down here instead of a regular hole. Yeah, he's going to be there all day. That's not going in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go roughly around about here. Okay. So, so we've got this idea where now we're going to set this plate up so we can get some feedback. So one of the things that, that we do is we just take a string line. I guess if you had a laser, you can use a laser. But we're just going to take a string line and very quickly kind of set this up to where it's aimed precisely where he said he wanted to aim it. Okay, so this, this part doesn't take too long. So I've chosen my line. I'm really now going to make sure that I'm setting the plate up here so I can actually just get it 100% exactly where I want it. Correct. So once we get the plate set up and we get a ball on there, he's now, he's now going to get some feedback. So if obviously there's room for error between the tees, but with the putting plate, he's going to be able to align his putter where he said he wanted to. And then he's hopefully going to be able to hit his ball where he said he wanted to. Um, and this, this is the feedback. So go ahead and okay. Okay, it looks quite tough. This does actually give it a, give it a go. These tees are biggest uh, of uh, gaps there, Andy. Not easy to miss. <laughs> so obviously, ball started left of, his, left of his target line. So you can give it another go. And this is quite tough. I'm gonna say this is quite tough, obviously, because I missed it there. But these tees are really close, yeah, and close, it forces close. you to start the golf ball on that target line. Yeah. And this is Which good is even key. if you haven't got a plate, just putting some tees in like this so the ball can just go through. Exactly. Really Ex important. Exactly. So for those of you at home that don't have putting plates, and we'll show you how to get some if you want some, but for those of you that don't have putting plates, you can literally, if there's nothing here, just the ball, you can put a dime or a, a coin of some kind next to your ball so you know where you're putting from. And then just put a, put a couple tees out here in line with your target line. And you know, if, you, if you're hitting those two tees, at least, uh, at least you know you're started it on your on your target line. All right, let's have another go at this one. So he got it online at a pretty good pace. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the ball misses what a ball and a half low. Yep. yep. So if the ball okay. misses here, if the ball misses here, but we wanted it to go in here, you could assume that this putt was misread by somewhere around there. So now, again, for the viewers at home, if you're sitting here and you're looking at this and you're going, well, why did I see this T? Why did I pick this read as, as opposed to the correct read? What, yeah. what was it? So I can move back, I can walk around, I can kind of stand in different spots to figure out mm -hmm. why it is I saw what I saw. Yeah. And that's a, look, this is a lot on this distance as well, isn't it? You know, that's like a, a hole width there. What do we see, what do you see, Derek? The majority of amateurs do and how, how, how far out are they on short puts like this? Yeah, so, so most amateurs I would say they would have put their original read on this particular putt even closer to the hole. So I mean look at the difference between that. This, yeah. is, this is really interesting because we actually did off camera a right to left putt and you got it within within that much. You slightly over read it yep. so you were slightly outside of your original mark yep. on the high By side. A little bit on yep. the right to left on the, on the high, high side. side. But on the left to right, which he feels he's maybe not quite as good at, he was actually more low side. And I think, I think when you're using devices like this and ideas like this, you could then figure out your patterns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. It's, if you're hitting a ball with a seven iron and you're, you're with your coach and you're going, you know, coach, my ball is constantly going to the right, to the right, to the right, or, you know, to the left, to the left, to the left. Okay, well, you see that pattern. Whereas when you're putting, it, it's very difficult Hard. to pick up on these patterns. Hard but once up. you know and you can correct it, well, now you can start making more And patterns. I think that for anyone, everyone who's watching this here, you know, you're looking at this going, well, this seems like a big process. He's just hit one putt here, so I'm not going to spend this much time practicing. Well, guess what? You know, if you are serious about improving your putting, then you ought to spend a little bit of time and at least try and figure out. Even the process of actually picking a spot, picking a spot. is actually a really good starting point because how many, how many times do we see people who just, they don't even really pick a spot. They don't see the hole and hit the putt. Yeah. So and they certainly don't give it a little bit of feedback can really help get you to progress and you know you think about this journey of putting you know how you know Xander didn't take you know he didn't start putting well within an hour did he it took him 
It took you yeah, a few I mean, years. <laughs> we've been putting for four years. I mean, we've been working together for four years, and I think he really started putting well about two and a half years into yeah. it. Okay, there we go. And then web.com, obviously, he putted well, and then rookie of the year. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that, that pretty much speaks for itself. So. so would you say then, so based on my first bad read, obviously I, I underread that. Yep. Would you then now go into, right, okay, what we're going to do now is adjust this line, make sure it's in place, and then would you recommend that then we are now training um, starting the on, on that line. So maybe some, you know, some good practice of actually starting that golf ball on my intended target yeah. line. So another thing that, that you'll see, that's exactly correct. When you hit the first putt, you hit the tee on the left. Yeah. So instinctually, you're trying to start it higher than you said you wanted to. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, my stroke is so good. I can hit it on my line. I just need to be conscious of hitting it on my line. Yeah. You then hit it on your line and it misses low and a little long. Yeah. But now when we move it out, you know, the pattern will become, oh, well, I feel like I can actually hit it on my line now and not have to feel like I need to pull it or, or aim, yeah. you know, incorrectly. Yeah. And again, you know, when you're starting to see, you know, teaching aids and things that are helping you aim yeah. and are helping you start it on your target line, I mean, those are the ones that are really going to give you the correct feedback. But yeah, but yeah so you want to try it again? Oh, yeah, I want yeah. to try it because okay. I want to get it close it, to that it'll hole. Be, it'll be safe to say as well, Derek, that there are some people who have certain patterns, and let, let's, for argument's sake, call them faults, okay? So they do read it incorrectly and they do aim incorrectly. But actually, for them, it can work okay. So actually, you've got to be careful sometimes when you are training uh, this putting and changing it. Would you, would you say that's a, a fair comment to make? Yeah, I think... You know, again, if, if, if you're getting the correct feedback yes. when you're training, it's hard to go wrong. Yeah. The problem is, what do people do when they come to a putting green? They throw down three balls because there's three balls in a sleeve, and they just put around and they're not getting any feedback. They're not training to get better. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, well, maybe it's five minutes before my round or 10 minutes before my round, which is not enough, mm -hmm. where our first tee is right there, so people warm up on the driving range. They come to the putting green, hit three or four putts before they go out and play, but they don't know yeah. if their ball is starting where mm. they want it to start, nor do they know where they're aiming. Whereas yeah. this, if you put this down for five minutes and said, you know what, I'm going to hit one left to right, I'm going to use, they come in sets of three, I'm going to hit one right to left and I'm going to hit one straight, and you set it all up. I mean, that was, how long did it take us to set that up? Yeah. Less than 30 seconds. Boom, boom, boom. I hit a few, pack them all up, go yeah. to the first seat. There we go. Feedback. Good, I like it. Yeah. Okay, right. This feels like I'm aiming a long way left now, but again. <laughs> Not my three plates over there. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> That's it. Okay, so the need now for me to compensate isn't there, is it? Because I'm, I'm, I'm aiming nice and high. Now, so. you may still hit the left tee mm -hmm. because of the pattern that he has on left to right. Of course. But that pattern will go away. Yeah. Yeah. So, probably the correct read if the ball comes to rest here. Yeah, yeah. So six to 12 inches past the hole, the capture rate of the hole becomes a little bit better, a little, you don't have to hit it. Um, I, I've, I've been told 17 inches past the hole, um, but, but really, you know, if the, if the ball hits the edge of the hole, you want mm. it to fall in, yes, not of course. spin out. Not so. spin out, so first, I mean, a little further. But this is, this is great because, okay, he's aiming correctly, we know that, right? Because yep. we've got the plate down. His ball started down his target line. We know that because it didn't hit the tees. So the miss was from, a, from the from speed, pace. from yeah. the pace. So that was the right tee. That was the right tee on that one. Yeah. So, but it's feedback. Again, great feedback. feedback, isn't it? Yeah, That's exactly. That's exactly it. If you're sitting here putting and putting and putting and yeah. you don't know where your ball's starting, how do you yeah. know? You don't learn you anything, do you? Know, do you? I, I, I see, you'll see it a lot when you get people when they have this dew on the green. Maybe yep. the, 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 the yes, ground doesn't have yes, yes. to do it. Yep. They put the ball in the same place and it's shooting off at different angles yep. all the time on the same putt. Correct. I mean, you know, you can see that a lot. Get it through? I got it through, yeah. Got it through. Maybe a slight so you're our pace could go one. even higher? Uh, was, that well, a, was the pace I, a bit I, low? I think, you know, in, in Andy's defense, we need a bigger sample. Like, let, let's hit it, let's oh, let him okay. hit a few more. And, and I don't like defending him. <laughs> well, you gotta be with him all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's one, pretty good. Yeah, it was good. And again, Almost. still a little bit high. So yeah. we talk about abnormalities in the greens or imperfections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, randomness, if you will. 
Yeah. I mean, there it is. And this right? is quite simple, really, isn't it? I mean, we've got to this point now where this is what he needs to do. You know, he can train it. He can, you know, he can pick the line. He can actually train what it feels like to aim at that line. I, I just. And honestly, do you know what? It's great that you that you can figure out exactly where that line is. You, you, yeah. You're doing this and you're going, okay, where is that line? Once you've hit a few puts, you can say, right, I know the line is about yeah. here. And then really it is about, okay, can I start my golf ball on that line? Right. Just hit me one more and go through your routine. I'm going to shout stop and I want you to obviously stop. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just, so you, yeah, I'll, just I'll go straight into it. Okay. Stop. Where are you looking now? Hole. Okay. Where would you recommend he looks? Um, I would rather have him look on his start line. You'd rather him look at his team? Rather, yes, correct. Maybe he needs to put a big bright white one in there then. <laughs> we'll but that's, put, that's we'll a valid point, isn't it? it? Because I think that's a good thing that you know yeah. we see a lot of golfers, where should they be aim uh, Sorry, looking. There so there go. it was. Was that me that made it? <laughs> no, so again, you can see, I, I like the phantom plate sometimes be, instead of the holes. So that ball hit the high side of the mm -hmm. hole. That would have dropped in. in. That would have dropped in. But yeah. we also saw it finish a little bit farther than we wanted to. Yeah. So again, if the ball comes to rest a little bit yeah. quicker, yeah. that would that would have gone, it in gone right in the middle, middle of the yeah, hole. Yeah. Yeah. So we know, okay, well this was the this was the original read, which was incorrect. He hit it too hard and it missed still missed low. I mean think about how hard you would have had to have hit it for it to go in yeah. at the original read. You could probably make the putt. Yeah. But not at a speed. I mean you'd be, I'd be you'd yeah. have you'd have I'd have another hit. one back. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But no, you made a good point. Um, I'll always have my students look at the line that they're trying to start the ball on, and then, you know, okay, yeah, look at the hole yeah. to get the distance and the pace you need to hit it. But starting that ball on your target line for me is is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, look, I mean, the, there's obviously a few things there that we've that we've covered, but basically, you know, the one thing that you can take from this is actually just have a put a tee in the ground yeah. on where you think you should be aiming yep. and let's get some feedback and see whether it works for you. Yeah, exactly. And if you start moving out, so this is a seven footer, but if you move out to 15 feet and you hit a putt where you've put a tee out there and you know exactly where that, th okay, there's the hole, that's where I'm going to start it. You hit it and then you look up to see and it's way left of your line and it misses high or goes yeah. in, that was a low read, mm -hmm. yeah. right? If it misses high or if it misses low, whatever, you know where your read is. How about, yeah, let's yeah, say that yeah. compared to where the ball starts. Yeah. It gives that information. Yeah, it'll give you a Brilliant. little bit, a little feedback. bit of feedback. Yeah, we need that. We need that when the person. We definitely need you, that. I you need that a lot more. Than more. Me, Pierce, I, I would say so, yes. Yeah. why you did the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, now, uh, obviously, the putting plates as well. We'll put the link in the description on how you can get hold of those if yep. you are interested in that. But as we say, you know, get that tee peg, start putting it in the ground, read those putts and yep. see if you can actually, you know, just get a little bit more sort of um, consistency in your game on your putting. You're definitely going to the scores, aren't we? Yeah. Absolutely. Derek. Thank you so much. Cheers. Yeah, you got it. Cheers, Derek. Great to see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Same thanks time in four years' time. Yeah. 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 Let's not leave four years' time. Guys, right. thanks for watching. Post any comments down below. There you have it. We hope you enjoyed that. Some great information from Derek, and a big thank you to him and all the staff here at Grand Armar for looking after us so well. Yes. And if you're interested in purchasing any of those putting plates, then click the link in the description and use the product code Me and My Golf at checkout to get an extra 10% off. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.